Hey y'all. <laughs> we're back. And uh, we're back with the final review for this hair that we got from Beauty Bar. So, we really have a story for you guys. Oh, like, we're gonna have to tell y'all our whole experience. Like, but we're gonna tell y'all about the hair. So, basically, we tried to straighten the hair. It was nappy, it was staticky, it was dry. Like, it, it looked real old. It doesn't hold heat well. Couldn't curl it. Like, you'll be. Get this side straight, this side start puffing back up straight. And it's this like side, it gives you side. an incomplete feeling like you never feel like you done flat ironing your hair. Like incomplete. That was a good one. Incomplete feeling. And you feel like you you can go over your hair until it's time to go, basically. So I had to cut my ends because the ends were so bad. And my hair is so much shorter than it was ever. Okay, like so I'm uh, I'm cutting my ends after the video, but I kept them just to let y'all see. The her the ends are so look how long the hair was, like all the way down here. My hair is Right here now, like waste of money. Ridiculous. But yeah, so so our first step was to call Beauty Bar, and basically she asked us to come in that same day. So we got up there around. <laughs> we gonna play. Who knows? So, sorry about that. Our music stopped. Our, my speaker died. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, so we got there at three. And when we got in there, for one, they had a lot of people in our face. Like, people who weren't even stylists in the salon. It's just a lot of talking and stuff going on. Females everywhere. So, so basically, they started trying to tell us. Really, they started belittling us. Trying to in tell front us all of these, everybody. Yeah, trying to tell us all these problems as to why we couldn't get the hair straight. She said, I had white girl flat irons. Ignorant statement number one. She said it's probably because I take showers. Ignorant statement number two. Humidity. And shampoo and conditioner. And then she asked about the shampoo and conditioner. But our thing was, this is why we're still doing our hair. It's freezing back up. This probably even left the house. It's after the shower. like. And for one, the statement about the white girl flat iron, that doesn't even make sense. Why would you say sense. that? <laughs> why would you have that be the advice you give to your customer? And then for two, my flat irons, if we have a kind of We've been using Infinite them. Pro. I don't know if that <laughs> means anything, but <laughs> I've used my flat on flat irons on all kinds of hair, and I never had this problem. And the, one of the stylists who work in there knows that. So basically, they decided to take matters into their own hands. So they decided to wash and straighten our hair, and we both have our own experiences. So she's gonna take yours first. Okay. The wash, I ain't gonna lie, it felt good. <laughs> but <laughs> once it was time for her to actually press out and blow dry my hair and everything, she she did tighten one of my tracks at the top. And the girl who flat ironed my hair, she really did try, like, y'all, she was, like, bending down. Like, she was putting in work trying to flat iron my hair. And I felt so bad because I knew it was taking everything. And I knew it was not getting straight. Like, before I even left, I went back to the room where a stylist was at. And I said, I haven't stepped outside in the humidity or took a shower yet. And my hair is already waving back up. And freezing. It was freezing. It was freezing. It, was, it looked a mess. But, so, I didn't even get to get my hair pressed out. When I say we were in there for, like, five hours. Yeah, we got there at three. And I all we asked there. for was a, well, really, y'all offered this service. And I'm just saying, like, with an unhappy customer, we should be your first priority. Like, we were just sitting Regardless there. Regardless of appointments, we knew that we didn't come first. But the way we were in there feeling, you would think that we and weren't even there. minor interjection, whatever. It was so slow in there that day. Like, it was, the business was not booming. And, my, and she just is what it was. there, y'all. I got, like, a corner piece of my hair straightened. And then, oh, then she was using two flat irons. And out of curiosity, I said, are you using two flat irons because you want to or because you have to? She was, have to, I'm sorry. And she was like, what you mean? Like, I didn't know it took two <laughs> flat irons. Like, I'm asking because I only have one. Why do you got to use two flat irons? Like, and then... Okay, so due to the fact I couldn't finish getting my hair straightened, whatever product she put on it to start straightening, I wanted to keep that same product on it because I was going to go back and straighten it myself. So I asked her what the product was, and she had like an attitude, just went and sprayed something on my hair. I don't even know what it was. Like, it was awful, And guys. so, y'all, they told us if y'all don't like y'all hair, they gave us another offer to come back the next day. So the next day was a Sunday. One of the stylists, the stylist who did her hair doesn't work on Sundays. Okay, cool. You're not. That's not your problem. But the manager, the owner, she, the owner, yeah, she wasn't even there for her one. Name, oh, the owner's name is Alexis. Okay, so 
Monday morning, I called up there. Well, we called up there, and basically, it was tension on the phone. So instead of arguing over the phone, we decided, okay, we're just gonna come up here and we're gonna talk to you in person. Maybe you can understand. Yeah, we get, you know, come to a solution. Yeah. So we get up there, and she's not there. And so we basically end up having a whole conversation with the receptionist and the hairstylist was there, and they saw where we were coming from. Like everyone was on one accord. It was positive vibes. Like we, we just, laughing. We laughing. It we was, just everything waiting. was cool. At that point, we were just waiting for Alexis. Right. So we left, and we came back, and they told us that she'd be back in 20 minutes. Oh, wait. Tell them. Come to find out, we end up buying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> come to find out, we end up buying the wrong hair. And not on our part, but... They told her that it was deep wave and it didn't look, the curls didn't look too tight because it looked like it was ran through, like a little, you know, like the hair was played you in know a how little you bit. Play in your hair, yeah. Yeah. So she she told her that she bought deep wave, making it seem like she was going to be able to straighten it because with deep wave, you would be able to straighten it with no problem. But with the deep curly hair, you had to press out basically the whole curl to get it straight. Get rid of the entire curl pattern. like. And that's why we was running into the problems that we ran into. So. So, this is the part of the story where it gets a little cray. This is where that picture comes from, Miss right. Alexis. Miss Alexis. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so, she got there, y'all. We were sitting off the property. So, she, we saw her pull up and walk in, took some line. She came back out. And, honestly, I should have taken this as a threat. But I, I didn't was, even see it, y'all. I was so not in that <laughs> defense mode. So, it was like, whatever. So, she was like at the door, like, y'all was waiting for me. Like, holding on to the door. So, I'm like, yeah. Duh. Then, guys, I'm thinking, okay. We could talk outside. This me, you. This is between so me look, and her. So look, y'all. We got she. Okay, so she held the door open for us, and we got in the salon, y'all. And she locked the door. She she locked the door. She, and she just said, locked the door and got on. That was the problem. And then so okay, <laughs> firstly, I'm thinking, okay, maybe y'all locked the door because y'all not have no business. So I'm thinking you don't want it, no it, customers. It, it to probably come doesn't in. matter if the door doesn't lock because nobody's even coming in here. Right? I'm thinking you don't want anybody coming in on this type of conversation. But for one, you are. It should have been in private. Exactly. So. Long story short, as we're talking, I'm telling her what's wrong. She's starting, she is pressure coming from her. I feel all these negative vibes come from her. She started getting, like, like, you know, y'all know how females get. So me being a blogger and I'm YouTube and I'm, I'm recording this whole process that I go through. I started recording her. Let me show y'all what happened. Guys here and do stuff like that. Don't because be fucking why? recording. Hold on. <laughs> so y'all, like. Was it that serious? Like, like was The it? whole beauty bar had to jump on us. Did they have that's, to? that's what it was, a jump, y'all. It was a jump. Like, at the end they were just with some unhappy customers. Like, it didn't have to go And down the way like y'all should have looked at it is like, we so much younger than y'all. It's We're just like, they got to get their hair done the right way. We just like, wanted our hair fixed. It was not that serious at all. The police came. The police talked about how they always have problems up there. They how they always kicking out styles. Yeah, like, for like, example, like, you know, if a, a place with high crime, like people say, the police take forever to come to the hood and stuff. That's exactly how it was. They, they did not they take were it not serious surprised. at all. They, nothing happened. It was no sense of alert. Nothing. nothing. Like obviously, that's the norm up there. That's what they exactly. do. Exactly. So you yeah. guys, let us. We want to hear how you feel about it. If we need you some on feedback. Outside, their side, like how you think it should have been handled. How did you think? Know. Right. What would you have done if you were her, and what would you have done if you were us? And follow us on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter. to talk to us. Like, let us know. Like, because we're gonna talk more about it tonight. We're gonna talk more about. Oh, it's gonna get graphic on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna put our at names and all of that stuff in the description box. So thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll see we're gonna see you guys next time.